What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here. My name's Luke, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Bitch as a part of my Does It Suck series. The Bitch is the legendary Hyperion SMG, and it is available from Bunker and other suitable loot sources. This particular weapon, when compared to its purple counterpart, is a straight upgrade. There are no downgrades. Damage and magazine size are significantly increased, accuracy is kind of negligibly increased, and everything else remains constant, except for the fact that the bitch also carries a special critical hit damage modifier that the Transmurderer, which is a pretty damn cool name, does not. So we're going to use the bitch here in the Washburn Refinery in combination with this uh, legendary Catcom and this build here, and we'll see how it does. Now we'll be comparing this weapon to... Other contemporary options on Maya and seeing how it does. Now obviously because this weapon does carry that increased critical hit damage, we obviously would like to get um, critical hits with this weapon and that will make it a lot more powerful when we do. Apparently somehow the uh, Pimpernel and Cloud Kill ended up killing that enemy, but you can see here even without slag, the bitch really tears through this enemy. Now one thing about the bitch is obviously that it is much more powerful when you have uh, those critical hits going. Without the critical hits, uh, there are plenty of SMGs that could deal more damage, but obviously Maya um, can focus on critical hits, especially on uh, phase-locked enemies pretty easily, um, and her tanking skills help with that quite a bit as well. When you're looking for critical hits, sometimes it you know is super beneficial to be able to take a hit or two, and Maya has some skills that allow you to do that as you kind of, you know, probe the enemy for the perfect spot to shoot them at. You can see there that even without slag, I should be using Scorn, and I'm not. been a little bit since I played Maya. Um, yeah, you can see that this weapon definitely does not suck. This is a very, very powerful weapon. Now, there are enemies that it is better on than others, obviously. Certain enemies are much more difficult to get critical hits on as well. That's a problem that critical hit based characters or critical hit based playstyles sometimes suffer from but obviously they can very much make up for it via their um, peak or burst damage so that's pretty cool I'm not um, super well versed with Maya so I'm not able to find some of the critical hits when enemies are phase locked there are obviously people who have that memorized a lot better than I do Enemies only get phase locked in certain ways, but different types of enemies, it can be difficult to find those critical hits like it was there on that super badass. But it is worth noting that on that super badass, even without a critical hit, this weapon killed him easily in one phase lock. Gotcha. Eh. Even without the critical hits, this weapon is an absolute monster. This is probably one of my favorite SMGs, to be honest with you, I like it quite a bit. Um... This weapon is kind of AR feeling to me, um, especially with Maya's foresight. It has a ridiculously sized magazine, um, and being a Hyperion weapon, it is obviously very accurate once you have gotten through the, uh, you know, initial jump. I don't know how you'd want to call it, but you can see that, you know, even with that initial jump, it's still very easy to find your enemies and uh, get critical hits on them, so kind of cool. Let that guy go ahead and blow up. I'm a little bit disappointed that uh, Maya's movement speed skill is contingent upon her shield being down, and I really like her skill Inertia, which pretty much keeps my shield from being down. Um, so those skills, even though they're in the same tree, seem to work in a way that is not complementary to one another. Whatever the antonym of complementary is, that is how the skills fleet and inertia function. Which is not really what you want. Let this guy blow up here. It's a little bit disheartening too because on Axton and Zero both I am used to kills um, increasing the movement speed. Again, I can't find the critical hits on this super badass, but it still wrecks him in one granted suspension boosted phase lock. But I mean, if we had those critical hits, it would go even quicker. This weapon 
is phenomenal. It absolutely does not suck. Gotcha. I don't see it used incredibly often. Um, I, you know, there are other SMG options that seem to be more prevalent, more popular. Uh, but this thing is pretty freaking badass. I, it, it wrecks. Um, it's an absolute monster. So, I don't know. I found that humanoid enemies are traditionally, not always, easier to hit um, critical hits on while they are phase locked, which is interesting. Um, this weapon is perhaps not the best with chain reaction, which is probably my favorite Maya skill, which is why um, after a time I began to favor the Pimpernel more on Maya than this weapon. But as far as Maya weapon goes, um, if I'm not looking to boost chain reaction in some ridiculous way um i would say that this is probably my second favorite Maya weapon to be completely honest i like it quite a bit and before i was experimenting with the blurred trickster build it was my most commonly used weapon on maya so obviously i don't think it sucks but eh, you know people have asked for it so we'll go ahead and test it out here even without slag this thing destroys enemies if you are getting critical hits, which is pretty cool. And you can see there that with Chain Reaction, it dealt some good damage to that guy. It's not that this weapon is a complete failure with Chain Reaction, like some weapons that don't bounce at all. This weapon works pretty well with Chain Reaction, just not as well as the Pimpernel or the Twister or certain other, you know, varieties of weapons that seem to perform very well with it. That said, this weapon still performs very well. Alright, we got some dudes coming. I don't know who I want to kill first. I don't know if Pervy will get elevated above the railing here with the phase lock. Oh, he definitely will. And he's basically a ball of critical hits, so that made him very easy to uh, critical hit there. Let's get Scorn out there, see if it'll slag these dudes for us. I have definitely not been using Scorn effectively in this video. But that's okay. Cool. So, I think it is pretty apparent that this weapon definitely does not suck, but let's go ahead and take it all the way around. Why not? Obviously, this latter portion of the Washburn Refinery no longer carries the difficulty that it used to because these super badasses will not be in four-player health scaling now that they have fixed the glitch at Hyperius's gate and also Master Key's gate. Specifically Hyperius's, though, in this scenario. found a critical hit but then it went away so very quickly whatever cloud kill helped us out there cloud kill and that dot try to run away from him here until uh yeah there we go nice so this guy can't be phase locked but uh phase lock will slag him i don't know if i'm carrying a shock weapon right now to take his shield down i know i didn't bring in a shock bitch which was probably a mistake because we could have used it to kill this guy, but meh. I don't know what he was trying to stomp on there, perhaps my scorn ball. Um, you can see that this weapon, fairly easy to train in on his somewhat difficult to uh, hit eye or crotch. Um critical hit regions, so that's kind of cool. The weapon obviously does become extremely accurate after only a few rounds of jumpiness. Can't jump over this rail. Alright, we got him. Cool. 
So, as you can see, the bitch definitely does not suck. This is a weapon that people have been asking for. It's one that I hadn't yet included in the series because I thought that the answer would be apparent to most, but obviously not everyone plays with Gibbed, not everyone finds this weapon, so some people are probably curious to see how it performs before they go looking for it, perhaps. Either way, this weapon is very, very powerful, and it's one of my recommended weapons. I find it to be pretty fun to use. It turns Maya into... You know, kind of a mid-range precision type character, which I can appreciate. I, I like, you know, precision and everything and aiming for critical hits and stuff. I think it's kind of fun. So, this is a fun weapon for me and obviously it definitely does not suck. It comes recommended if you were asking for my personal recommendation. One more time, guys. As always, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you haven't yet taken the time to subscribe, please do so. I'd appreciate that as well. Otherwise, I do hope to catch you next time. Bye, guys.